so you open instagram and you come across this nice seamless carousel post that keeps you up to the end and you wonder how did they create this seamless carousel post in today's video i'll be teaching you how to create a seamless carousel post using adobe photoshop and adobe illustrator from setting up your workspace to giving you tips and tricks on how to make your post better and engaging for your audience So we start by creating a new file obviously and i'll be using a 1080 by 1080 instagram pixel size the trick here is to multiply your width by the number of carousel slide you want using the asterisk mark so if you want a eight carousel slide post you use asterisk mark eight asterisk mark then and if you want to use the portrait size you use you change the eye to 1350 so you set your resolution to whatever you want then you create this is what you have you have a blank canvas now go to view under view go to new guide layout whatever is your previous layout to show up you can always toggle it off but because i have designed previously using a five that's why you have my column but your settings will be set to um five and you make sure your gutter is set to zero pixel the five is like the number of carousel slides you want so if you put six your post will be smaller so yeah am i just trying to design like create the actual carousel post and one trick you have to keep in mind or one tip you have to keep in mind is when you are designing try and make sure the flow is seamless know what the story you want to tell beforehand make sure the element just overlap and this is what i'm trying to do i'm bringing my element from this project i did i was trying to bring out some assets from the presentation to put it into my carousel post you see what i'm trying to repeat i'm trying to create this poster but at the end of the day it didn't work out but you see the final design but you can see my designs are overlapping the line so this is how it's going to be on your instagram post so the first page is leading your user to the second post is the th second post is leading them to the third post so just bear that in mind when you're designing and this is what i came up with at the end of the day i said you know i said the first design didn't actually work out for me after creating your design you're going to use the slice tool i am going to click on slice from guide this will help cut this long artboard into smaller artboard that's the number of carousel slide you put which is five according to the guide you have that is why i said when you are using um the new guide layout make sure it is column set to five if you have something smaller than that is not going to work so an extra tip on creating a and an engaging carousel post is to make sure that it overlap as i said for lines that don't have like a particular story to it you might use something to cover it up like maybe a shape or whatnot in this case i use like a mock-up and all of that so next thing you're going to do is to export and you're going to export using the save for web legacy you want to make sure your settings is correct that it is set to jpeg and your quality is set to 100 then you save to your desired folder make sure all slices are clicked and this is what you have that we posted to your um instagram story i think it's quite easy in it I'm going to start by creating a new file. I'm going to be designing in the portrait, Instagram portrait size. That is 1080 by 350. So you want to scroll down a bit and click on more settings. Under the more settings tab, you can increase the artboard to the number of size you want. Make sure your spacing is set to zero pixel. That is how you can get the seamless carousel um, layout. And make sure your grid, the on this side you see grid by column grid by row make sure it is set to arrange by rule so it can be arranged in a row setting if you set it by grid by rule or grid by column or grid by or arrange by column you're going to have a different workspace setting so when all that is set and done click on create document and this is what you get so I've gone ahead to design my carousel. This is like one of the best performing posts on my Instagram. If you're not following me, you should follow me there. I share great content over there. So hola, hola, hola to go. So I'm just trying to like trim up the edges by um, using, I want to 
the clipping marks so that's what i'll just be doing here and i will show you how to export your carousel in illustrator now go to file export export for screens make sure it is set on ad artboard instead of asset then you can choose where you want to save your files as you click on that small file icon you can also change the format to like jpeg depending on what you want you can convert it to a pdf if you want to upload it as a document to linkedin so either of that and make sure you select all the artwork not if you want to select some you can select some but if it's everything exporting click on all and export artwork so it is going to save as individual jpeg and this is just what it looks like once you upload it to instagram and you are scrolling through it you would not even see any line or anything to be seamless just like that so that's it for creating seamless carousel posts using photoshop and illustrator if you found this video helpful please give this video a thumbs up share it to your friends comment below what you want to see on more on this channel i'll be creating more tutorials and i want it to be stream streamlined oh my god i want it to be streamlined to my audience needs thank you i'll see you in my next video